Yeah, I know I've been away from Little Big Planet for a while on this channel, but ever since I uh, started doing these Little Big Planet videos, I always wanted to go back and revisit some of my older levels that I made as a kid, just to see how they hold up today, because, um, as you might know, I'm not much of a creator in Little Big Planet. I'm more of like a player, right? I only play levels. The creation stuff happened when I was a kid, where I had all the imagination in the world. Even though I didn't really know how to build a level, I still created stuff, especially with friends who were more experienced with creating levels. I had them help me out and stuff. But I think in this video, I just want to check out what I made uh, as a kid. Not every level. Uh, I actually have multiple accounts. I have multiple um, levels posted everywhere, so I might go through some of those in this video. I might go through some of them in another video. We'll see. Uh, maybe if you guys like this like this type of video, I'll do I'll do some more of that. But oh man, who <laughs> what am I what am I starting with now? Uh, I guess I guess okay. We gotta start with my first level ever made in Little Big Planet One, called Moon. Um, as you can see, it was posted March 2019. That's not true at all. In the description, it says a re-upload. So. Uh, I deleted all my levels at one point, and I just re-uploaded them recently, semi-recently. So some of these would say 2018, all of that. No, these are mo mainly posted in uh, 2012, 2013. That that's when I started playing this game a lot as a kid. And let's just take a look at Moon. Let's just let's just see what we have. All right, so this is it. <laughs> this is this is Moon. So th this isn't really much of a level. More so, more so like a, I just messed around in create mode type of deal, and I posted it, I published it, because I wanted to publish a level, I thought it was cool. There is a little more going on here, I need to restart the level because I already, I already messed up, but um, I made this little, this little rocket gadget thing, you grab it, you go up, and I'm going a little crazy, let's try that one more time. So yeah, the rocket goes a little out of control, so you want to you want to keep it steady for the main part by by sticking onto the star. But as you'll see up here, there's like Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There's the moon. That's it. <laughs> it's just a cardboard cutout of the moon. There's nothing you can do in this level. I don't know why there's a paint nader here. But that, yes, that's cool, you know. Just just play on my first level again. I don't really know what was going through my mind I'm making this again. Just kind of like, just kind of like messing around in the moon and just publishing the level. That's something I did. Not often, actually. I always had a clear goal of what level I wanted to make, but this was my first one, so I can't really can't really judge it there. Moving on to what I want to say is my second level um is <laughs> shark serveal all right shark serveal or shark survival obviously based off of uh, you know <laughs> it would be better without sharks obviously based off of you know the popular shark survival levels at the time there was a very specific shark survival level that i used to play with my cousin and my friends all the time i actually downloaded it to my moon on little big planet one and played it all the time i think it was called colorful shark survival and it was really fun it was really fun but um oh man i wish i could show you what's up there i think i spelled out shark survival wrong again because I don't know how to spell shark survival or, sh or survival maybe I can get up there no no that's not gonna happen well you can see the the emo teeth right here the shark the shark tooth but um let's play the level <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be shocked to say the least <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be shocked all right so we got these giant jet skis you see those platforms down there those are pretty sad platforms. As you can't really, you can't really like jump on them. <laughs> They're not really platforms at all. I tried replicating the platforms in Shark Survivals, but I, I didn't really know how to do it. I thought Sponge was the way to go, 
in this specific shape, but no, that's that's not how you do it. And, you know, the platforms are pretty much unusable. Every single one of them, I think. And you might be wondering, where are the sharks? <laughs> where, where are the sharks? I don't know. There they are. Okay. Yeah, I put a couple sharks. I think I, think I put one shark per layer. This is... No, that, those two can't kill me. They literally can't kill me. Oh, here's a long platform. I also didn't use a grid uh, when I made levels as a kid, so they're just all kind of mismatched shapes all the time. That's a bigger shark. When is one going to show up that could kill me? Oh, there we go. There's the one that could kill me. I think if you just use the jet skis and go to the ends, you could actually just make it. This is terrible, by the way. I, I never, never was a good creator in these games and this shows, but th that's that's fine, you know. It's fun to, to revisit these, and these aren't like the first time, this isn't the first time I've played these levels in eight years, seven years, or whatever. I actually went back and played a lot of these recently. So, you'll see, you'll see that I memorize a lot of what's going on. And, Epic Redacted Survival, this is actually a recent level that I made for fun. Uh, I made this completely for fun. This is one of those levels where I actually had uh, a pre-built level in Little Big Planet 1. I went back to my Little Big Planet 1 and it was just a bunch of garbage all over the place. Like a, a bunch of Kennys from South Park and a bunch of random broken Koopas. Like over here, these are a bunch of Koopas with a bunch of pins on them. I had these just lying around in a creep mode level. And I decided, you know, you know what? I need more Little Big Planet 1 levels. This is like, we're talking 2021 here, before the server shut down. I decided, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to make like a new level in Little Big Planet 1. It's going to be funny because it's just going to be one of my old create mode levels. I'm going to make it... I'm going to make it horror themed. I'm going to add a dark... A dark light to it. Some heartbeats. And you can't tell right now because I turned the music off for this specific video, but... There's like scary music playing as well. Maybe I'll put that in the video. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I'll do with this video. Um... That's it though, there's nothing here. You go to the right side. Oh, that's Kenny by the way. This is like a broken Kenny. I killed him. There's not much, oh yeah, there's more Kennys. This is not what it looks like by the way. This is, <laughs> this is two Kennys. Two dead Kennys, all right. I'm, I'm done with that. All right, so, <laughs> my Little Big Planet two levels, finally. Some amazing things. Let, let's take a look at Magma Mayhem, which was a platformer I made a long time ago. And I actually played this, I think, in one of the pod serving episodes I made, the LBP2 one specifically? Maybe? Yeah, I definitely played the pod surfing episode, or this in a pod surfing episode. But this was my first level to reach the cool pages on Little Big Planet 2, and I was so happy, dude. I was so excited to have a level reach the cool pages. Antonio Carta 1 presents Magma Mayhem. Yeah, that's that's my old username. But dude, this level sucks. <laughs> this is it's slightly better than the stuff I made before, but look at the point bubble placements. Look at the platform placements. They're, they're not even lined up at all. It's cool though. You know, I respect I respect the Magma Mayhem. I actually like that name a lot. I don't know where it came from. I might have took, taken it from something, but... Magma Mayhem is like a name I started using in other things, like... In Mario Maker 2, I made like a lava level that I actually really enjoy. I, I like the lava level I made in Mario Maker. Um, but I called it Magma Mayhem. Oh, yeah, that turns into fire. I completely forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, this is like, you know, there's some cool mechanics here. <laughs> By cool mechanics, I mean. I obviously put some 
put some love into this level, even though it turned out to be kind of lame. Ghost of Tsushima updated, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is not that good, but... <laughs> get ready. Get ready, alright? Something's coming. I can't even get up that platform. I'm not even gonna finish this level. I've shown this before, I think. Alright, here we go. Magma Mayhem 2. This one, I think, is much better, but it's still not very good. Uh, again, I, I still don't know how to make levels at this point, and it was one of the last levels I made uh, before I stopped making levels. Is that even true? No, I, I don't think that's true at all. There's my guy. Um, that I thought that was pretty cool. I cut out the logo, and I put it in the level. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I like that. No, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here right now? We gotta go back to my Little Big Planet 2 character. The original. The original character. Um. Oh my god, that looks so ugly down there. Look at that. Look at that platform on the, on the bottom. Uh, yeah, this is better. Actually, this isn't much of a challenge, really. The platforms are so close together. Minecraft updated too. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, this just blocks fire coming up and down. That one actually goes all the way down. That's strange. Not much going on though. This section is is weird. Because you can just fly over like speedrun tactics. Just fly over the other two and just... Yeah. It's kind of cool, though. And then... The final push over here. I got stuck. Oops. Well. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this, this part kind of sucks. What is this? Oh, I actually made the, the camera zoom out. <laughs> I learned how to do that by now. This is kind of weird. You can see the scoreboard up there. What a platformer, right? I don't know what I was thinking, man. Well, that was Magma Mayhem. One and two. I'm pretty sure I showed one in a video. I could have shown two. Uh, I honestly can't remember. Let's move on to some other levels. Alright, so back in the day, I was really into creepypastas. And as you can see, this is Slenderman's Woods, a mini forest RPG. I also made a lot of RPG levels at this time. I made like three or four of them. There's only two currently on my profile. Three. Yeah, arguably three, but we'll get to that third one pretty soon. Slenderman's Woods wasn't originally a Slenderman RPG hangout level. It was just a forest level. And, you know, I actually like this a lot. I think it looks pretty pretty. I think it looks pretty. But I didn't really, I didn't really make a lot of this level. This is like a collaborative effort with like two or three of my friends at the time. And oh man, this ladder! <laughs> look, look at this big treehouse. Ah, oh, there we go, dude. There's my emo costume. This is what I used to wear. This is what I used to wear back in the day. I don't have the costume in Little Big Planet Three. You see me attacking a creeper over there. And that's not even my original emo costume. I had like one or two before that. And this is I. This is me with one of my friends um, on the left here. I don't know who the dude in the front is. I don't really know. Um, and then you got you got Gur up there from Invader Zim. I I was really into Invader Zim around this time. Um, there's not much to this level though. There's like a day and night cycle. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like. It's changing as we speak. Down here is a little Easter egg that I like to put in some of my levels. And I didn't even put this in my level, my friend did. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Obey Ouija, destroy Mario. That's a classic. I don't know if you've seen this in my pod surfing episodes, but yeah, Ouija is something me and my friends found super hilarious at the time. It's just, you know, we, we used to say it in school, like constantly, 
Ouija this, Ouija that, bro. Obey Ouija. I, I don't know. It was just something we found super funny, like the Ouija virus. We used to email each other, oh my god, don't click on this link. The Ouija virus is coming to your computer if you click it. And we would believe it. Um, there's one more thing I'm going to show at the end of this level. Oops. Yeah, not, not that. <laughs> not, not that. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Bro, he's chasing me. I didn't, I, there was no warning. There was no warning. He just kind of spawned in. But yeah, I put Slenderman in here because, dude, creepypastas, creepypastas were the shit back then. He could just die on this bridge, by the way, because it's so badly constructed. But that's it. That's the whole point. I think, yeah, we changed it from, like, mini forest RPG to Slenderman's Woods because I added that Easter egg, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I think that's one of my other levels that reach the cool pages for a little bit. Um, <laughs> before we get to the the next RPG level, let's take a look at Pikachu Song Survival. All right, we gotta talk about this one. Yeah, this is it. This is the level. This is it. You just sit here, and every 10 seconds that passes, you get you get point bubbles. And that's the whole point of the level. And you just gotta listen to the Pikachu song. Press circle to quit because your ears are bleeding. I like that little thing at the bottom. This is another one of those levels where I was just like... You know, I'm messing around in create mode. I, I had like the Pichus messing around. And I had this Pikachu sack bot. I'm just like, okay. Oh, and the counter. I'm like, okay. Let me make this into a level. Let me just combine all of this and make it a level. And I did that. And I, you know, I think this is, once again, another level that reached the cool pages. We're not going to stay here for a long time, though. We're going to, we're just going to end it there. <laughs> Call it there. My friends helped me out with this level, too. I think, like, the lightning bolts and the Pikachu at the back wasn't me. That was one of my friends. All right. Okay. Okay. A very Christmassy RPG. This is one of my last LBP2 levels, but before we get to my favorite level in the entire game, we gotta play this first, because, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of uh, DNA from this level in my, my next level, I think. This is it. <laughs> this is the Christmassy RPG. So, yeah, RPG Hangouts... I didn't even play them that much. I kind of did with friends and stuff. We kind of, we, we just chilled. We just chilled, did other things, watched YouTube videos, shiny hunted and Pokemon X and Y. You know, all that jazz. Um, and just like played Little Big Planet while doing so. And I made a couple of these levels, not, not anything too crazy. Just like a house, an outside, and a backyard. And that's what I called an RPG hangout. Um,. There's not much going on here, I must say. There's a basement where you can play video games. Rad? Rad? Okay. So, upstairs is where you're going to see most of this stuff. I don't even know why it came down here. Oh yeah, there it is. Sonic Lost World, bro. I like that game. I think that game's pretty fun. It's not like a great Sonic game. It's it's very different for a Sonic game. It just kind of rips off Mario Galaxy. But Mario or Sonic Lost World, I got this for Christmas, uh, the year I made this game or this level, and I guess I predicted that I would get Sonic Lost World in 2013, 2012, whenever it came out. Ho ho! Help me! I'm stuck in the chimney. Yeah, this is this is Santa. He's he's stuck in the chimney. I thought that was a little cool Easter egg. There's another cool Easter egg. There's Brownbeard Lewis, dude. You'll see him. You'll see him every now and then. Brownbeard Lewis is is the classic. Absolute classic. This is a, this is an iconic picture. I love this picture so much. Um <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on up there. A bunch of reindeers and a lemon guy. I like that lemon guy a lot. Um I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it's like a Muppet guy. 
I don't think we could take stickers off, no. But I, I like the little... He's like dancing and stuff. I put him in a lot of things. Alright. So last Easter egg over here. <laughs> hey, bro. It's Tails Doll. I was super into Tails Doll. As you may know, creepypastas were a big thing. And in the next level, you'll see exactly what I mean by a big thing. Uh, I think here's my dog. Dog Jenga's over there. Uh, outside, there's a little more going on. Another snowman. This time, I, I, I definitely stole that snowman. I didn't make that. Maybe I did? No, I don't think so. I think it's like a sticker panel with just... I don't know. Uh, outside, it's just like more trees. And a big giant tree with a bunch of people over it. Like, oh man, cool, a cool tree. It's Christmas time. Nothing's going on here. Nothing crazy going on in this level. Just a fun little Christmas hangout level I made. Alright, so this is not the last level for the video. But, it is one of the last LBP... Well, actually, it is the last LBP2 level. Um, I'm going to be looking at in this video. I shouldn't have done that from Creepypasta Land, yeah. A lot of Creepypastas in this level. Let's just say, Tails Doll, Hide and Seek. This is a pretty, pretty lighthearted level, all things considered. For being a Creepypasta type of thing. I'm actually going to turn the music on for this. Um, I want to show the music changes and stuff. So, so obviously, I don't have another person to play with. Um, we're not actually going to be tail stalled right away because we're going to be locked in there for a while. You can already see something going on over there. <laughs> uh, Blueberry Cream is my favorite character I made as a kid. He's just like a blue guy. It's funny. But, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More, more pictures of my dog, Ouija, and then Knuckles with a, with a prize crown, dude. Ha, ah, prize crown. I wish I had a prize crown. Dude, I still... I'm holding on hope for a prize crown one day. <laughs> it's one of my most wanted things. It's like one of my most wanted childhood things, right? It's like a goal I always strive for. I was never good at creating, as you can see, but... I always wanted a prize crown. Always. Probably not gonna get it though. What's over here? I know there's something over here. Oh yeah, it's like hamster Spider-Man. You can hide in here. All right, so this is a hide and seek level, first of all. Um, and I made a bunch of hiding places. There's not, it's not much of a hide and seek level. The main point of this level is the Easter eggs. A lot of Easter eggs in this level. Let me change the music, actually. What have we got? Supersonic Racing. That's... Sonic Heroes. I don't know what the name of the song is. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Then more Sonic music. I think it's all Sonic music. I actually made different versions of this level with different music and different changes and stuff. I do want to show you more of the Easter eggs, though. Here's this banana. That's super OP, by the way. Super OP banana. If you're trying to hide from Tails Doll, bro, just use the banana. He can use one, too, though. So be, be wary of that. But overall, I think it's a pretty OP banana. And then up here is a, a rainbow launcher. Doesn't work in Little Big Planet 3. It's a way different in LBP 2. Just saying. It doesn't look like this. Before I completely destroy the level, let me show you one of... One of the music easter eggs. Oops. Oh, there's Pichu down there. Alright. There's Dr. Mario music. <laughs> that you, you, you hold the Koopa shell, Koopa shell and you get uh, Dr. Mario music. There's a bunch of easter eggs in this level. I'm just saying. Some of which probably are inaccessible to just random people. Um, because there's sticker panels, and you need specific stickers that I don't even have anymore. I have in one of my accounts, but not, not in this account. Not in this profile. Uh, there's an Easter egg revolving around that box right there. If you hold it, and another person holds it, there's another box upstairs. So as I was saying, <laughs> if you hold that box down there, and go up here, and hold another box, you have to have two players for this. It will open up a secret entrance to a secret area. 
and I'm not going to spoil it for people that might want to try it, but all you have to do is hold this box, right? This circuit box or whatever it is, and the box downstairs at the same time, and it will open up a secret entrance somewhere. If you guys want to figure out what it is, you have to find out yourself. Easter eggs, Easter eggs. More Easter eggs are down here. Actually, the main Easter eggs are down here. <laughs> Don't mind the naked Ouija over there, man. That that picture's a classic, too. I love that naked Ouija. But, uh... And this is where... The level sort of changes. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I was trying to get close to him. Oh, man. Okay, if you get too close to him, I think... Maybe if you grab him? Oh, yeah. If you grab him, run. Oh, yeah. And the, the whole level gets dark and he, he goes after you. Oh, my God. He's actually going to kill me. Level's going to end, too. Well, that sucks. But yeah. Sonic Daddy XC. That's, you know... Another another creepypasta I used to love. There's a more Tails doll. Okay. Well, let's go back in the level. There's more things I wanted to show you. All right. Here it is. The... The other main easter egg of this level. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. It's been drowned. And, you know, he doesn't really pose much of a threat. He can't really kill you unless you're you're dumb. And <laughs> just run into him. He actually can't even get up here, I don't think. You get up here, alright. I thought this was pretty cool. You know, putting a bunch of easter eggs for creepypastas and a Tails doll hide and seek. So to get to this area, you need to take the banana, right? And just go into an invisible hole somewhere. There it is. And feast your eyes <laughs> on baby Miyamoto. Shigeru Miyamoto, creator of Mario. There's something on his diaper. I don't know what that is. It's a sticker of some sort. If you had the right sticker, though, you could, um, in theory become Miyamoto and I, d I don't have the sticker right now so uh, yeah that's not gonna happen unfortunately and then we can see we can see blueberry cream over here just hanging out <laughs> blueberry cream is is literally my favorite thing from little big planet man my, my favorite thing I've ever made is blueberry cream but tails doll not allowed I'm not too sure why I put that here I I tested this before and this is not a trap I thought it was a trap for Tails Doll. If he gets in here, he would die. I'm not too sure, but that would be pretty OP, right? Not like it matters. Random snowman. Oh, yeah. And then... There's a couple more things here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you found my pug. I gave away my pug in a prize bubble here. That's pretty cool. I didn't know I did that. I kind of forgot. Uh, and then there's a way out over here. And then down here, there is a super secret. There it is. The chili banana. And by chili, I mean fire banana. Uh, the chili pepper banana. So this is pretty cool. You can kill Tails doll with this, in theory. It's like a weapon of self-defense. You can actually kill Tails doll in a lot of ways as the, the hider. So, yeah, I didn't really think that through. <laughs> I don't think I really thought about the gameplay. I think I just thought about, hey, how many cool things can I put in the level? All right, so the, the Seeker becomes Tails Doll, and you got to wait a certain amount of time. I, I want to show you guys this when time runs out. Something, something pretty cool happens. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. It's the it's the Time's Up Spongebob like clip from Spongebob. When he was like writing his essay and then the clock's talking to him. I like that scene a lot. I thought it was pretty funny. I think it was an inside joke with me and my friends back in the day. And I put that in there. That's yeah, I don't know. That's pretty funny. Tails doll. So to kill you press circle. And you become electric. And I don't think he's as fast as the other players. Maybe he's faster. I'm not too sure. 
But this is a very unbalanced hide-and-seek level, but this is my favorite level I've ever made in Little Big Planet, ever. It, it's just so nostalgic. It's it has so much of what I was into as a kid in here, just like put in here for fun, and I love it. I love it so much. I actually was planning on doing like a remaster of it in Little Big Planet three, but never never got around to it. I was gonna do like multiple maps and multiple things to change it up but i never i never decided to do a tales doll hide and seek remastered that actually i made the logo and everything but never happened unfortunately it was gonna have a title screen all of that we spent enough time on this level though it's time to move on to my little big planet three levels so yeah I, we've been going on for a while now and i want to get through my last three lbp three levels three thousand plays wow that is crazy yeah this level was posted not long after the game actually came out. So we had a lot of day one Little Big Planet 3 players playing in this Flappy Swoop demo. And I never I call it a demo, but um I, I never went back to it. I never finished it. I never did what I wanted to do with it, which was make it endless and make it uh randomly generated, which I didn't know how to do. But for right now, uh, the presentation of this level is pretty pretty good for what, for me, at least. Like, I don't remember making levels look this clean before. Uh, sticker panel, I think, changes the music to the gardens. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's Flappy Bird with Swoop, and I thought this was pretty cool. It's not that hard. I think you, you could get through it if you just... Oh, wow. <laughs> Only two. Um... And it's just Flappy Bird, you know? It's Flappy Bird with Swoop. I thought that was the coolest idea ever. And then more people started doing it. And I'm like, oh wow, this is not original at all. <laughs> what was I thinking? But it was when the game first came out. And what is this note over here? Welcome to the beta of my new project, Flappy Swoop. Now, I call this a beta. Now, I call this... I guess I meant the reason. Now, the reason I call this a beta is that some things seem too limited, and I will add more in the future, such as multiplayer and levels. In this level, try to fly between pipes without touching them. Cool. Cool little note I put there. And then this leads into my next level, the Mountain Fall Classic Minigame. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's, let's check that one out from this level link, actually. Let's just do that. Alright, so Mountain Fall is my second Little Big Planet 2 or 3 level. And this one kind of sucks, but I did I did like this level back in the day. Welcome, welcome Sackfolk. Ah! Welcome Sackfolk to my new level, Mountain Fall. A little tutorial on how to play Mountain Fall. In this level, test your luck by choosing which platform you think won't sink and try to survive longer than the world or your friends. And there's my guy. That is all you really need to know for now. I will update my levels once in a while, so look out for new things. That is not true at all. Well, it kind of was at the time, but... I don't think I updated this level much to add. I think I did tweak some things, actually. Now that I think about it. Alright, so Mountain Fall is kind of... It doesn't work the way I want it to. The reason I call it classic, you'll see pretty soon here. It's like a Mario Party minigame. I think it's actually based off of a Mario Party minigame. <laughs> and this is gonna be- this is supposed to be much funner with multiple people. But I don't think it gets faster. I I'm gonna tell you right now, it might. And it's just completely random. What sinks, what doesn't. It's kind of boring, is, is why I don't think this level is very good. Doesn't get much faster. If at all. It's just kind of boring. So, what I decided to do was remake this level. Uh, and by remake it, I mean, we're talking, we're talking. <sighs> Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is! Mountain Fall Restructured. Restructured. I like that name. Uh, I split the two up to Classic and Restructured July 2020. So this is my most recent level. This is not a re-upload. I made this level in July 2020. I came back to the game. I'm like, okay, how do I make levels in, the, in this video game? And I, you know, I, I played with this level a lot. I tested it a lot. I added a lot of changes to it. 
and I didn't even make the background. Um, Homicidal Chicken actually helped me out a lot with the scenery. And I was trying to figure, I actually had like a whole different look to this level, a whole different style. But Homicidal Chicken really came through, helped me out. I, it, it looks gorgeous, by the way. You'll see in a couple seconds. <laughs> I didn't make this, I didn't make the scenery, but look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay, so Restructured is a little faster, as you might tell. I have little warning signs on the platforms itself, and here's a new addition. The bird over here drops point bubbles. I thought this was cool. Then he goes away after a little bit, and then he spawns on a new platform pretty soon after. Uh-oh. Oh, no! No! no. Alright. Well, I like how the scoreboard's back there, too. That's a, ni that's a nice addition that I added. Oh, man. <laughs> this... I really like this level. I, I think this is one of my... It's, it's my best level, I think. Ever. But... I'm not really a good creator overall. I, I feel like I can't do... I can't do much when it comes to creating in this game. But I like to see how far I come after all these years. Mountainfall Restructure definitely shows that I've grown as a creator. Even though I didn't make the scenery. I made everything else. <laughs> I made the the things drop the way they do. I don't know. I thought I thought it was pretty cool. It's a it's a pretty big step up from Mountainfall Classic. I will say that. And yeah, that's really it though. I do have more levels that I want to play on on a video sometime. I actually have multiple other accounts that have my older levels, my older levels, old old levels that are kind of like really bad. Um. I do want to play those. I do want to play those, but this video has been going on for long enough. So, if you want to see me play more of my old levels, let me know in the comments down below. I want to know if you guys want to see this. Want to see more of my levels being played? Because I have a bunch of levels that I could play. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. I just wanted to give a big thanks to Diva, Neefty, and Josh Spears for becoming members on this channel. If you want your name at the end of my videos, want a shout out, or if you just want to support the channel, feel free to hit that join button down below and become a YouTube member yourself. Regardless if you are a member or not though, thanks for watching till the end, I really appreciate it.